Can everybody see that? Is that good? Looks great. Yes. Okay. The shift. Yes, the shift. Um, that's what that's what Jason titled this this uh, to be. And as my manager, and as a very smart person, I figured I couldn't really beat that. It just it fits. Um, and it's a shift. What shift mean? It's something we all go through. Right, paradigm shifts, thinking of different, moving into new new areas, growing into new parts of ourselves. And uh, this particular shift for me is when I went kind of hanging out around uh, the six mark and just not having super great weeks um, selling, anyways. That is, to uh, you know, changing, uh, putting in a power intro, really, really hunkering down on making phone calls uh, and working here at Cutco to beat that 10K mark. Uh, get in the dirty 30. Um, but shifts again are something where it's not just it's not just once um, and it's not just for a day right when you shift uh, it creates a whole new whole new sphere of influence and this is something again that helps with Cutco and I'll talk about that more in a little bit but I think shifts are just a big part of being human and so the bottom does need to be human um, lots of different things right there's lots of things that we can do uh, but before we get into that, some things about being human that I've really been enjoying since being in Cutco and some of my goals and aspirations that I didn't even really know would be able to happen or that I really was thinking about uh, have kind of manifested themselves in this job and in this opportunity. Uh, the big three are right there. You know, the effective communication is number one. You know, humans, oh my goodness, we can talk and talk and talk. Uh, it's good to listen to, but being able to listen to ourselves and then share that with people in a positive and effective way uh, is so important. And so that's something I've struggled with, especially the asking questions and being able to ask for help and make what's going on on the inside happen effectively on the outside. It's been wonderful and a great opportunity so far to be able to work with Cutco and be able to grow that skill. Uh, and with that, you know, the only way that's been able to happen is through connection, showing up to Champs Club's meetings, talking with wonderful people and being part of this team has been excellent. And again, that isn't something just here in Cutco, but each and every person that we do a demo with, or even just talk with on a phone, even if they hang up with, on us after a couple seconds, uh, we make that connection and we have the chance to have a positive influence on people. I just think that's wonderful. But all of this happens only because of action right? Uh, we can think all we want and we can talk to ourselves all we want. Um, but if we're going to connect and we're going to make a positive change, we have to act on that. And that takes a lot of courage, which again, I'll get to a little bit later. Um, but something I've always been really good at, and I think it was alluded to a little bit in those uh, voice memos, is that I have a lot of optimism, you know, pretty, pretty sparkly kind of guy. Um, but I, I found this comic, and I think it's one that kind of suits me well, um, especially, you know, kind of coming into this job and just just since, I don't know, with, with growing up. Um, but I'm kind of like this guy over here on the right, you know, uh, very optimistic. I think I can catch a huge fish. Um, but look at that little fishing pole he has. That's so dinky. What's, he's never going to get a, a shark or jaws or a big blue whale or something like that. Um, right, you need a crane. So you gotta, you gotta be able to plan and be realistic as well as optimistic. Uh, and so again, that's kind of where I was in comic book form. Another way to look at this um, is we all have things that, that we want to do, right? Little inklings or inspirational ideas or dreams that we have. Uh, and all our dreams, they start out as little seeds, little acorns, um, and they are little, right? You can hold several of them in the palm of your hand. They're easy to lose um, and they're easy to get misplaced, right? But they're also hard to juggle because they're so small. And something Cutco has allowed me to do is kind of focus into one, which for me right now, that is being able to ask proper questions, think positively, and then act on that, you know, continue to grow. And that acorn, you know, is nowhere near this big oak tree yet. But it's getting there, right? Uh, if we look to some of our managers, right? CJ and Daniel and Jason, and then beyond, right? To the other people in the company and just in the world, people who have taken the time to focus for years and years on something, uh, just like the oak tree, provide a lot of shade, a lot of support, and then are able to give back 
hundreds or thousands or even hundreds of thousands of acorns every year. So it's a great way of inspiring and something again that can come just from this opportunity. And again, another piece of Kako and another reiteration of this is that Kako is your mirror, right? Any result or lack of result that you get with this company is because of you. And if you've ever just stared into the mirror for a while, you know, a lot of things come up. Like I'm, I'm talking literally stare into the mirror. Um, you'll see the different pieces of yourself that you both really like and really dislike. Um, you know, and some of that has to do just kind of with accepting ourselves. But then other pieces are things that we as people have the ability to change, the ability to learn from and then grow from as well. Um, so I invite all of you, you know, as we're going through this, anytime you make a mistake or, you know, grow or have a good result, you know, take that time to reflect, to look in the mirror and see what's going to happen from there. Uh, it's been doing me wonders, but of course, again, a lot more to learn. This goes back to that courage thing. Uh, I was talking about courage, right? The taking action aspect that's really big here. We'll be doing phone calls a little later, but just in general. Um, this is a little blurry. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I, I hope that's still legible though. Um, I'll explain it. Uh, so basically, uh, this, is, this is a map of consciousness uh, created by a man named David Hawkins. And it kind of works on the same logarithmic scale as earthquakes do, where like the difference between one and two, and then two and three, three and four, it's not just like adding one, it's adding, I don't know what it is for this, but it's like a multiple of 10, right? 10 times, 100 times, 1000 times more. And so if we start down here on the bottom, the smallest emotions that we have, the smallest forms of consciousness are things that make us feel bad, things like shame, guilt, fear, anger, greed, and if we're in those emotions, not only are we feeling low, but our sphere of influence is very small, especially positive wise, right? Uh, and again, it's good to be optimistic, but to feel that inside and be able to share something important takes a lot of courage. And so in this, there is a paradigm shift, similar to the shift I went through, um, where you go from a feeling of lack to the shift of courage to a feeling of more. And right there at the 200 mark, that feeling of courage is what gets you into the positive states, uh, into the states that Chambi was alluding to a little bit, where your dreams become attainable, where things become reality and your sphere of influence grows, right? It's not just in one dimension, it's not in two dimensions, it's not even in three, it's, it's, it's in so many different ways. It's multiples of 10, right? So uh, you can kind of see that again, with this isn't just, a triangle, an inverted triangle. Uh, it's a giant cone that can fill up the whole world. As humans, we have that ability. And then there's this guy, Wim Hof. Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard of Wim Hof before, but he's, he's incredible. Uh, he did not work for Cutco. I'm sure he would have done an excellent job in it. Um, but he's somebody who, just like a lot of people from Cutco, uh, especially if you've ever listened to the Changing Lives, Selling Knives podcast, you're able to see these people who really focus on something and are able to grow from it. Uh, Wim, <laughs> his thing, as you can probably tell, uh, if you haven't heard of him before, uh, is he really likes the cold. And I'm not just talking about like a, a little cold shower, but like he's climbed most of Mount Everest in just a pair of shorts and shoes. Uh, he's been in an ice chamber, uh, completely covered in ice, naked body for I want to say his record now is almost two hours, uh, things that would kill most people, right? He's been able to do this through a mixture of mental toughness, consistency, and then belief. And he has three core values, you know, that he likes to share with the rest of the world. And again, if you want to look for some pick-me-ups, kind of like Titus was alluding to, uh, his, his videos, his feats uh, are all based around happiness, strength, and health which all of us humans are able to attain and grow from. And just like other, other big paradigm shifts, like another great one is uh, the four minute mile, right? No one could do it. And then all of a sudden one person did it. And pretty soon after Roger Bannister did, everyone was able, not everyone, but everyone who had been training was able to start breaking that. Uh, we are also able to break down our negative thoughts, our different fears and move into a state of power of courage 
and eventually happiness, strength, and health. And so some things that have both helped me uh, with Cutco and some things that have changed uh, is I was already on Champs Club a little bit in the morning. And again, I realized depending on your schedule, that's not something everyone can do. Uh, but I highly recommend anytime you can come to a team meeting and give yourselves a hand for all being here on the Wednesday one, anytime we can do that, that is a wonderful opportunity to meet and grow. I know these past couple of years have been very virtual for a lot of us, um, but just like anything, there's different types of virtual reality. Um, this one is very positive. So yeah, continue to be here, continue to connect with the team. Another thing is making more phone calls. Uh, I've been consistent making 10 phone calls a day uh, since the start of the push. And I'm continuing to grow with that, uh, realizing that you know, with my goals, I need to start making even more than that. But whatever it is for you, make those phone calls because those are a very actionable thing. We all do, we all have our phones here and we can all make that happen. Um, and then another one is believing in yourself, right? Don't, don't carry around a tiny fishing pole with a dinky hook. You know, get a crane with a big lure. Sell yourself as well as Cutco. Think about your goals. Talk about your goals with the people involved, uh, especially in your demos. You know, let people know your vulnerabilities, your dreams, and your aspirations. And then talk about how wonderful Cutco is and you'll have a great increase in sales. Uh, and the only way, again, to be able to help others is first to help yourself. So if you can continue to go through, make these courageous steps and make all of this work, make all this happen, continue to be here to help and ask questions as we all will for each other. I'm so excited to be moving into this assistant manager role. And I really look forward to being able to do that more effectively and again, be able to communicate better for a lot of us. So yes, continue with your shifts. Continue to think about those. Remember, you are infinite. So pick your acorn, pick what you want to nurture and grow about yourself in the upcoming months in this fall here. And from that, let's grow into some beautiful oak trees. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. That was amazing, Richard. Wow. You should be a poet. Um, because I think I'm in love with you. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, that was awesome, Richard. Really great. Uh, thanks for, um, you know, really being yourself on that message. You can definitely tell, you know, you're always a positive leader in champs clubs, you know, just bringing the energy in the morning and uh, just an awesome, awesome individual to lead. So I'm really excited for you in that way. Uh, and also one thing to add to your message, you know, we heard a, a message from Jesse. He talked about a Navy SEAL. And he was doing, he made, the Navy SEAL made him do like a hundred pushups, just going to like keep it short, but um, he made him do a hundred, not pushups, pull-ups. Um, and he couldn't leave the gym before he did a hundred pull-ups and he can only do four the first time and then three and then two and then one. So he did one, he walked around the gym for like, and he said it was like two and a half hours until he did a hundred full pull-ups. So, and the Navy SEAL said, when your brain says you're done, you're only 40% of the way there. So when you're talking about mental toughness, that really, you know, brought that up to me and made me think about that. You know, those are the types of messages that stick with people um, for the rest of their lives. So that was really awesome, Richard. And, and I really commend you for that. That was awesome. So um, questions otherwise, or Jason, do you have anything to add? Hey, go ahead and take a look at your notes here. What was your guys' biggest takeaway? Yeah. So, you know, take a, take 10 seconds, look at your notes or just what resonates with you to, to, to share some feedback with Richard but also to think about what, what's your takeaway, what's your action step from that? And let's see that in the chat. And then if there's any questions after for Richard, um, feel free to uh, come off mute or type it in the chat. You are all acorns. <laughs> so good. Richard. Um... I really like how you talk about the paradigm shift in thinking. I think that's really important and you, and it's important to have that if you want to like, you know, grow and hit another level. Um, so kind of when did you hit your paradigm shift in thinking and how do you say so optimistic and so positive, even when things are not going so well? Hello. Yep. There you go. 
You're good now, Richard. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, Chambi? <laughs> so um, I really liked how you talked about paradigm shift in thinking. And I really think that's important yeah. if you want to hit a, another level. And how do you um, stay so po uh, optimistic and so positive uh, even when things are not going so well? Did you hear that? Yeah. Richard? Are you there? Hey, can you, can you hear me? Oh, no. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. It's come. I'm so sorry. Turn it. Um, right. Up in Sapir, it's not very good internet. <laughs> it is Wisconsin, but it's almost Minnesota. So, you know, it's bad. I, John B., I heard. I heard paradigm shift. Yeah. So yeah, I'd like to talk about that. And then how do you um stay so optimistic, so positive? Like you're like the most positive person like I've like really ever talked to. Like you're so positive. How do you how do you do that? Yeah, I try to spend a lot of time outside. Um, I like to be barefoot. I like to be connected to the earth because the earth is always positive. <laughs> it's it's so simple that we miss it, but it's like it's yeah. it's our mom you know <laughs> it's yeah. it's good to be outside um i've like never seen an unhappy goat or like a plant or something <laughs> like this and you you if you go outside and you and you just sit there for a little while and I'm, i am serious about this i know yeah. a lot of people put me off as oh you're you're a hippie or something like this but um we're all a part of the earth so just take the time to sit outside and you'll notice a lot of good things so i would say that's that's the most important one. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that peace, uh, nature, and solitude is uh, very important. Yeah. And then it's also a personality thing. You know, like, um, again, Chambi is an example. Chambi, I could ask you the same thing. You know, how do you, how do you always keep building and growing and moving forward? It's, uh, you know, finding your strength and then sticking to them and helping to develop them there. Um, so, yeah, that's, that is one of my strengths. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to say, very good uh, listener. Very good listener. Like, uh, I, I notice I'm running my mouth a lot around you. <laughs> yeah, like to hear it. Everybody's yep. got a lot to share. Chambi also asked, when, when was, you. before your internet cut out, Richard, it was, when, when was a shift? Was there a shift or have you always been this, this way? Positive? Yeah, positive. Oh. Yeah, since second grade, second grade was rough, but after that, mm-hmm, oh. can be, yeah, yeah, for whatever reason, cursive and, uh, yeah, go ahead. Just think, so, so you've, been, you've been on the journey for a while, you've been practicing for a while. Yeah, yeah, right, yep, just like anything, consistency helps. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well... A lot of great takeaways here. You guys can see in the chat here. That's awesome. Yep. Plant the seeds. And by the way, you know, not all five spots are, are, are done yet for that dreams session that all five are taken up. And, uh, you know, really when you have dreams and, uh, you know, you can, you can, uh, plant those seeds, plant those acorns or grow into the oak trees, right. And create many acorns. It really starts with like your dreams and, and what your, uh, you know, kind of passions are and so use cutco to accomplish those dreams for sure so great job sir richard thank you all right